Welcome to another video. It's another beautiful day in July, and today I'm going to be talking about a new product. It's a Firebox Stove 10 inch fry pan and cowboy plate. And it comes as a kit with this bag, also with a handle. I bought the medium cutting board as optional. I just want to mention I'm not being asked to do this review, I'm not being paid or endorsed. I just bought this product out of curiosity, like anything else. And I'm just giving you my genuine, honest opinion. Um, if I find products that I like, I like to share them with you. I have the Firebox Stove G2 stove, and so far it's been great. So I want to talk about this. I want to put it to use. So let's get started. So first off, it comes in this 500 weight nylon case, and it's got these pull cords to keep it tight. And open it up here. So we have the fry pan and the cowboy plate, cutting boards inside. Um, first off, I want to mention the reason why I bought this. As you can see, it fits a ton of stuff inside. So this acts as a carrying case as well. And look at everything that I have in here. I have eggs, I have my batter, seasoning, oil, potato, butter, onion, knife, fork, and spoon. I have my handle, some bacon, and napkins and whatever else. You can fit all this in here. It fits in nice, compact. So that's one of the main reasons why I bought this. So I bought this as a kit, and this is the 10-inch fry pan. You have the 10-inch uh, deep cowboy plate. I think it's like an inch and a half, two inches deep. And you also get the pot holder, pan holder, and you can not only grip the pan, but you also can grip the plate. If the plate is hot or you're using it as a cover while you're cooking. Um, I opted for the medium cutting board, which was optional. And that works out really nice because it fits right inside the pan, or the plate, I should say. And it comes with this 500 weight nylon carrying case. So both the pan and the plate are made out of hard anodized surface. And it's scratch resistant. It's 30% harder than stainless steel. And aluminum is sealed behind a non-reactive oxide layer. It heats evenly. And it works like cast iron, it accepts seasoning like cast iron. When you get the pan and the plate, it gives you instructions on how to season them. And basically you just use a little drop of canola or vegetable oil. And you wipe it all around inside the pan and the plate. You get a thin layer and then you wipe it back off. And you bake it in the oven for 500 for an hour. You let it cool off and you repeat that process again. And that starts the seasoning process. And just like cast iron, the more you cook on it, the more it's going to get seasoned. Uh, grease from bacon, um, whether you cook eggs, chicken, fish, all the oils from that, potatoes, onions, whatnot, the oils and the grease from that is going to help season it. So the more you cook, the more you season it. Um, just like cast iron, works the same way, but you don't have the weight of cast iron. Um, this doesn't mean that I'm throwing out my cast iron pans. I still love my cast iron pans. I'm probably going to use them just at home. I may take them out once in a while, but this is much lighter. So anyways, let's get started. Let's cook some food up and see how it works. That's ready. Throwing up potatoes, onions, salt. 
salt, pepper, Italian seasoning. Here comes the rain. I didn't know it was supposed to rain today. It's supposed to be sunny, but it doesn't surprise me. It's rained here all month, the whole month of July in New England. And I know rain's important, but this is getting pretty sick. <laughs> so I just have to deal with it. It's a good thing I got this cover because we're blocking out the rain. But this just sucks. Right. I'm gonna throw some bacon in here. I opted for this uh, smart bacon. It's plant-based bacon by uh, Light Life. And I uh, wanted to try it. I know some of you are probably thinking, why don't you use real bacon? But I want to give it a shot. Okay. Oh. Everything's cooking up nicely. Let's give it a check. Everything's cooking up pretty good. Rain is slowed down, thank God. If it wasn't for this cover, I'd be screwed right now. Everything would have been wet. And so, just about ready to eat. But look at that. The sun's out, just like that. Just as soon as it disappeared, it's back out. And uh, this July weather has been crazy. <clears throat> it's July 30th now. And I bet you it's rained at least 25 days out of the 30. Check it out. Everything looks good. Season, season it up a little bit more. So this is what I was talking about earlier. All this grease and oil is gonna help season the pan. And I'm just gonna let it cool off here. And then I'm gonna wipe it out and then I can give it a more thorough cleaning when I get home.
potatoes and onions came out perfect. Yeah, uh, onions are all caramelized. Potatoes are perfect, they're not burnt. And this uh, plant-based uh, plant bacon isn't that bad. I mean, eggs always taste good with anything. I wish I would have brought some uh, muffins or toast. Grab a little coffee. All right, so now that the pan and the plate are cooled off, I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe with a paper towel. All these little particles, I can just clean that out when I get home. I mean, it's plenty clean for now, just to hike back. That's going to wrap up another episode. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review and cooking demonstration of the Firebox Stove 10 inch fry pan and cowboy plate. Everything worked as it should. The food tastes great, and if the food tastes great, then it kind of sums up the quality of the product. I'm really happy with it. I highly recommend it, and I'll be reviewing more products. Of course, there'll be more fishing, hiking, camping, all that fun stuff coming up. If you want to like or subscribe or leave a comment, please do. Um, I notice a lot of people are viewing, but they're not subscribing. You don't have to. I know my channel isn't for everyone, but if you're kind of skipping around on my videos or getting all the way through, why not subscribe? It's free. It's one click away. You'll be able to see on the left-handed side of your screen when I upload a new video. There'll be a green dot there. This signifies that I just uploaded a new video. If you do, I'd appreciate it. But I got to do some fishing now. Enjoy the outdoors. I'll see you on the next adventure. Take care.